Yo, hello guys, Fempang here, and welcome to World of Warcraft, the weekly Mythic Plus chest opening video. Two characters this week, Rogan DK. I don't know for how long I'll be able to manage two characters at the moment, like work is a bitch. And but it should be easier coming in now-ish, right? Because people are starting to get geared, so it should be easier to do the 15s. You don't really need the creme de la creme. As soon as people get the gear, they're already fairly easy. As long as you get a, a decent group. It was mainly necrotic that was the problem last. Mainly, I mean, bursting as well, but mainly necrotic. Just... When you are slightly undergeared, Big Pull saves you a lot of time. And it feels like they didn't really bump up the damage that much, which is weird. Now, Blizzard has stated that they are going to nerf Echoing Void significantly. Now, usually when Blizzard nerfs stuff, um, they fucking destroy it. Uh, whenever Blizzard nerfs something, it usually goes to irrelevant, useless. So when they say they're going to nerf it significantly, that's going to probably mean erase it from the game, basically. So I don't know what corruption I want, because before I just wanted Echo Void, and that was it. Now I don't really know what I want. I mean... I'm starting to like these twisted appendages, so I would like, on the rogue, I would like another piece of twisted appendages. Not that I can currently... Oh, I can! What ha Oh, man! I know why. I was, like, really high on corruption. Like, why the fuck am I so high on corruption? And it's because I had an off piece somewhere that was randomly on. Um, so I don't really know if I want it more, though. I think it's bad that they nerf it. Like, to be honest... Like, let's be real, it is fucking bonkers and it deserves the nerf, that's not what I'm arguing. But, if we're real here, it's already ruined. Like, the tier is already ruined, right? Am I wrong? Like, you've already had it for your first re clear, right? So, first and foremost, method and limit and pieces and all of those, they've spent millions of gold on the auction house getting Echoing Void rank 3 and it's so like what is it 10 12 15 percent of the rates DPS that's just gone when they nerf it basically and obviously it's not gonna be gone but it'll probably be reduced significantly which basically means you're not gonna fucking equip it yeah um to use something else, but you're losing what well, at least five percent, I'd assume, DPS swapping from Echoing Void to something else, or maybe I'm wrong. Uh, but that would be my guess. Like the tanks, it's like forty percent of uh, one of our tanks damage, and he's wearing one rank three. Imagine wearing two rank threes, or a rank three and a rank two, or whatever. Like, pfft. it feels bad that they're nerfing it. Like they, the tier is already ruined for it. What they should do, rather than nerf what people have and been striving to get, right? They should buff the rest of it. Like, it's already broken. Like, that was just the example with method and limit and pieces and all of those uh, retards of insane players. But the Shedder Guilds, right? That might have had a lot of luck with corruption and has a lot of echoing voids. Now they might be able to re not able to reclear the boss because they can't meet the DPS checks anymore. Like, if you have enough of it, it might even lead you to have to reprogress fights because your timers are, re are different. I think they should have just buffed the other ones. Like, just... It's like, Echoing Void is all the way up here, right? And then we have Infinite Star somewhere around here, but on pure single target, somewhere up here, whatever. And then, well... Gushing, crushing wounds, or whatever it's called, and uh, Twilight Appendage just flowing around here, and then you have all the shit stats, all the buff. Why don't you just buff the other ones up? So there's choice. Rather than nerf what people have. It feels so bad when they nerf what you have. And the one with, oh, what if you cleanse your corruptions or whatever. If you've cleansed corruption at this point, unless you absolutely had to, you're an idiot. 
Like, you are an absolute idiot. You should have seen this fucking coming. I've kept everything except for the weapon from Malt. It, it is Malt, yeah. Yeah, except for that weapon. Because one, it's a guaranteed corruption. I can get that whenever the weapon decides to drop for me. Anytime I want. And it was a big upgrade. Alright, let's see what we get. I don't know if I hope for Echoing Void, but it's not nerfed yet. So I kind of hope for Echoing Void. But I think I just prefer Twilight Appendages, to be honest. Give me something good. Just not leech. It is a weapon that is huge. Huge. A weapon with corruption though. That could be a double edged sword. Let's see if it's cleanse time. Oh please don't be like last time. Where are they? I'm not even wearing them at the moment. I got this. Your spells and abilities have a chance to show the inevitable truth. Come on. Mastery is dog shit for Outlaw. This is not worth it. I'm gonna sim just how small of a DPS upgrade that's gonna be. Just from the corruption. Because the weapon is big. Don't get me wrong. The weapon is big. I'm not arguing that. The weapon is huge and I'm happy I got the weapon. But this is a cleansy boy. And I just said you're stupid if you cleanse your corruption. But mastery is the worst stat. By a pretty, lo by a pretty large margin. To be honest. By a pretty large margin. This is where we're going. Yeah, we're just simming it like this. Alright. Like, mastery for fucking outlaw is so bad. That is, um... And it has mains that master even, but it is a 475 weapon. I cannot... I, can, I, I must not forget that it's a 475 weapon. It is a mythic quality weapon. Remember, friends, it is just shit stats and shit corruption. <laughs> so overall, I feel like I lost getting a 475 weapon out of my chest. Great system, Blizzard. I, oh, you're so good, right? Like, it's so great. Like, what, why did you go away from Titan Forging again? Because you didn't want rewards to feel bad, so you went with Corruption? I didn't really feel bad when I got the item that I wanted, like a 475 weapon. If it didn't Warforge or Socket, I still got the... 475 weapon up from a 455 that's 20 eye levels on a weapon that's huge i didn't feel bad before that it didn't get a socket i was happy i got a weapon now i feel bad because it got fucking mastery corruption thank you blizzard you have you have succeeded in making a worse system in my opinion all right guaranteed corruption here give something good I don't want this. That is not a co wait. What? I got one of these. Just one. So it's going to take me fifteen weeks, and I got an ass right helm. Guaranteed corruption, and I get ass right. <laughs> oh, listen it. Ooh. Mm. Yeah. Oh, I love the game, man. Mm. The state it's in is just... <laughs> so good, game. Oh, we're going to get an additional chest. So good, Blizzard. You really outdid yourself here. <laughs> More fucking currencies I have to keep in my inventory. Why is this not an actual currency? <laughs> Great, Blizzard. You did good. 
super not salty not at all salty mastery on the uh, on an outlaw piece not salty as a right when i need corruption from the guaranteed not salty i mean this is a whole 40 residue not salty all right let's see what we can get from this one guaranteed corruption by the way let's get one shitty trinket <laughs> come on that's a belt i mean that is great right this is super this is amazing um Oh, my best sim on the rogue. I have made a mistake, but the best sim for me is actually to purify the weapon. Is there a sim where it's simmilla? <laughs> uh, I need to put the weapon on and just have the cap of corruption up. Up, 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 up. All the way up to 150. Let's go. Here we go. All right. We try. We try again. Oh, we try again. Uh. So let's see what the build has to offer. Yeah, I mean, it's it's great. Yeah. I didn't spend a lot of gold crafting this, so it's super to get a build blizzard. This is a great system. I love this. This is a great system, Blizzard! <sighs> I'm not salty. Do you want to see my corruption pieces? I'm not salty. That one's great, yeah? Critical hits have a chance to increase your critical strike by 31 by half a socket. Stacking up to five times. That's two and a half sockets from corruption. Or you can get like 15% damage for every void, but who cares? This one's pretty good. Not gonna lie, this one's really good. This is for my P PvP chest. That's the, the I've got lucky here. I will admit. Increased damage and healing you deal with critical strikes by two percent. Or Echo and Void, by the way. Oh yeah, Void Bridge where everybody gets this. Leech! 8% leech. You feeling what I'm feeling? Again, 2% critical strike increase. I can go to 4% critical strike increase. <gasps> or 10, 12, 15% from Echo and Void. It's okay. Your avoidance is increased by an amount equal to 16% of your haste. <gasps> Big. Real big, yeah? <laughs> Huge. Then we got this one. Increase versatility when I take damage. 6% more crit from all sources. Fuck yeah. That's it though. This one's guaranteed. 
it's great it's great it's just super I hope you enjoyed it, because I sure as hell didn't. <laughs> I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.